Look at the time. 2.20 a.m. Thank you for breakfast. We're going to the land where they make these. But in the meantime, we're going to Prague. Lucky dog goes to land of ice cream and donut. But I better travel in better place than this because I don't like that. Get me out of here. Ah. Stupid poor man. Get me out of here. I'm just about get, to. Get, get me out of here, please. What the, what the, no, no, don't, 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 don't. No, I'm going to pull in your face. I'm going to Get me out of this bed. Oh, I hate you so much. It's not even ten past four. We're waiting for the shuttle bus to take us to Stansted Airport. Plus, we're going to get some ice cream. Waiting to get on the plane. It's been six weeks now. Guess who's in the bag? Um, Jimmy Hoffa. Oh, let me out. Who's that? What me? Who's me? Let me out of bag. I'm not in there. Oh, get, get up. And and Ducky want to come out. <laughs> Speed it, don't care. Me. Tony yeah. Speed, you do a lot of fighting in here. It's not really bad. Please let us out, please. Tony, Tony, let me out. I'm gonna pull in your face so much. Let get out of here. Let me out of that now. We're in Prague. These are our digs. They've not made them up yet. Hello. No. Why? Because it's in Prague and it's not hello. Oh, hi. Ciao. Dobry den. It's Rick the Vadler camper. We're having our tech. That's all right. I'm just using my camp me uh, me my thing. There we are. That's that's how it works out. Everything everything's a treat. It's working out beautiful. had our tech and like only used half the tech time to do it as slowly as possible been sitting around Absolutely. jabbering away absolutely and we only used half the tech time they gave us four hours it's ridiculous so that's our venue the Vadla camper which is the the theater at camper park and um, we've got three hours to do whatever Whatever, we're going to get some food. And not get wet. No. That's a tram, that is. There it goes. There it goes, going, going to tram land. Goodbye, tram. It's really hot. about 8,000 degrees centigrade. And we're sitting in a square somewhere in Prague. There's a man running away from the camera. Thank you, sir. You're totally bleached out anyway. Our show starts in, well, we've got two hours, we've got to be back at the venue. And then we do a show, and we have no idea how many people are coming. If it's sold out, if there's going to be no one, not a clue. Genuinely not a clue. No one knows. We'll see. Ice cream. 35 kroner. It's about a pound. 
Salted caramel. Not very nice at all. That's horrible. I'm lucky he's back at the venue. What he doesn't know can't hurt him. I can hurt you though. I found that you had half time and it didn't help me. Very quick bit of filming because we're up in 10 minutes. There we are. We're set. Just leave the PowerPoint like that. No. Yes. No. Let us all leave it like that. No, no, no. Alright, I won't then. Let's not put that Put what? No. <laughs> here's, here's the dressing room. It is a bit smelly. Don't know who that is. And off we go, kids. It's half past six. Having almost run out of stamina, we decided to start making our way back, not finding any karaoke bars to the digs and chance across this place. And I've already had a drink and I'm having a couple more. Such fun. Salad's amazing. So that, that's got a thumbs up. I've had two of these already. It's a Harry Cup, which is vodka with strawberry juice. They went straight away. And I got here a B52 which is Kahlua and Bailey's and genuine absinthe. Apparently I've got to set light to it with this. What, what, what has, he told, has he told me how I drink it? Not a clue. Not a clue, right. I assume not when it's on fire. I'm assuming that too. So yeah, and I just phoned home as well. The drink's going a bit to my head, but not much. Just enough to be a bit happy. Hooray! Let me out of bed. This is not suitable uh, transport for Loki. <laughs> Shut up. Let me out of bag. Hello, please. Let me. Don't do that to me. Let me out of bag, please. So, um, <laughs> hello. Um, if this is anything like me trying to strike the matches for the Stan's birthday video, this might take a long time. Oh, God, that was awful. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've had two Harry Cups already. That's it that way. That's not the good way of doing it, because that means I'm sideways. And so I'm a little bit, you know, but it's, it's fun. And this is the B52, and I've read up how you're meant to do it. You're meant to set light to it for a few seconds, let it go, and then drink it from the bottom. This is absinthe, the real, the real thing, not fake English stuff. This is the stuff that makes, that has killed people drinking it. 70% proof. So here we go. 70% of the people that drink it die. Of proof. <laughs> yeah, it's flame. Uh, I'm playing that out now. Drink that to the straw now. Yeah, I think it's a straw now. Some is welcome. Oh my god, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. You're doing that yourself, stop it. It burns. It burns. It really does burn, but it's fantastic. Could you please try and hold it steady, you knob? That clue is very nice. Now we've got the babies in a minute. Okay, we've got for most of the Baileys. And now they're very naughty. You're not going to down that in one, like. No, no, I'll sip it. If it's really horrible, I'll down it in one. <laughs> it's like drinking surgical spirit, I imagine. 
That is really strong. Really strong. Ooh. What? Stop it. Wow. I think that's what the alcohol will be having this evening. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on this excursion into abusing alcohol. And now some bread flavoured with stuff from a plant. What I laugh. There was when I was doing all that, there was a couple at the opposite. What? Had you already pressed record when you gave that to me? When I what? When you gave it to me, had you already pressed record? Yes. What would happen if I press record? Uh, it was the, the red light was on. Oh, that's right. So I think it was filming. Yeah. The couple at the opposite table at the other wall. When I was doing all that drunk stuff, they were looking at me with disgust, and they weren't disgusted at all. They were fascinated. Because <laughs> <laughs> the man just came over and he said, "Excuse me, when you were drinking, that was not nice." <laughs> It's the episode, it's 70% proof and it really burns when you drink it and then they started looking at the list and they could order it for themselves. <laughs> the thing is, all the streets in Prague are really heavily cobbled. There's no tarmac, it's all stones and stuff. And the pavements is all done like mosaics. And I've still got to walk back yet, it's about a 15 minutes walk from here, something like that. And I don't know if I can do it without falling over. <laughs> I think the apple pie is going to push me over the edge. B-52s, that's, that's the way to go. But with Absat, not with Grand Marnier. Oh dear God. This is my prime video diary. Ah, uh, fuck it, I'm leaning up back. Leaning up there, because I have found something. Look what I see. Hot cream! Ice cream and stuff that I don't have interest in. This is for my museum of ice cream. Don't touch it, please. I'm going to eat it. No, you're not. Don't do it. Don't do this. Don't do this thing. I got the point of us. What? Why do you sound like you're a little bit piddled? Little what? A little bit piddled. I'm not a piddle. I'm not stuck. We're walking down the street now, next to Tesco's. He's making me carry all the bags, and it's not fair. He's just walking off in the distance, looking at Lego and leave me to carry the bags and the map. It's not a real map, it's not. What? Why are we not there? Oh look! We are there! Look at this, we're just passing by Tesco's, we're in the window! Look at that! That's us, that is. <laughs> and who's, who's that at the side? That's a Facebook friend of mine. Look, we're in the window. Fringe. And again, look, we're in the middle there. Ah, oh, yeah. oh, that's awesome. We're famous. 
Well, as famous as fam yeah, famous as Tesco's. More famous than Tesco's. <laughs> We're bigger than God. I'm bigger than God these <laughs> days. <laughs> half of that. <laughs> yeah. Half apple pie. Uh, yeah. They should, that's a selling point. Have an apple pie and be bigger than God. It's Sunday. No, it's not, it's Saturday. It's because it's second day, it feels like Sunday. Look at this. This this isn't even the, um, the, the thing, it's the other thing. It's amazing. And see this here, this land, that's not even the other side, that's an island in the middle of it. Brilliant. But there is news. Um, we lost Speedy last night. He's, he's gone. He decided that he was a free spirit. And somewhere between the Radlow Camper and our digs, he left us. That's a very sad thing. Very sad thing for me. Very sad. But we're keeping an absolute safe eye. Unlucky and ducky now. Shut up. Get me another speedy. Another speedy's on the way. And um, did I mention I fell off the table before we started the show last night? A huge purple bruise. Put a very low table at the side of the steps, or Tony put a very low table at the side of the steps. And you tread on it and find out that none of the legs are screwed in. And uh, there was an accident. Anyway, look down here. Hello Stanley. Is it freezing cold? I don't like this at all. So this woman here, that one, she has been two or three minutes talking to us in Czech completely with us basically inferring that we don't speak a word of Czech. Not a clue. She's going on showing us forms and stuff and just just shrugging her again and again. She's constantly speaking in Czech. Not a clue. Not a clue. Ah, it's going great. Turns out the woman wasn't official then we got, she's got the police to move us on. So I asked, please they speak English in Czech, there's no. So I got my Google Translate and put in, um, we're performing at Prague Fringe, we're not busking, charging, or handing out leaflets, we're just happy to pose if anybody wants a photograph. And she laughed, and I thought, oh, that's all right. And then she went, no. Let's start the second show in Prague. First one without Speedy. Um, Tony's got a headache, I'm feeling tired. It's pouring down with rain outside. But we're starting in just a couple of minutes. Let's see how we do. Second show over. Um, about two thirds full. Again, it went well. One sound cue didn't work. That was all. For someone who's got a banging headache, you still got a banging headache? 
new water's here by the way, I found it. And there's the, the headache things in here. Can't take any more at the No, take all of them, it'd be hilarious. Oh, right. So yeah, the show is doing really well again. It's still very hot in that venue, but it's a great, it's a great space. Um, and so he's just got out of the shower because he's a diva. And uh, all packed up again. It's going to be a bit different packing up tomorrow night though, isn't it? Maybe we can put it all to one side and come in, in the day on Monday and do it. That's an idea. That's an idea. We'll do that. Fingers crossed. Should be alright. Message Janice or something. Don't Janice. Jasmine, tomorrow. Find out if we can. She is. She's is very good. And um, we've still got the boys with us. I could still say plural. But, you know. I think uh, he wanted to go. Yeah, he decided not. He, he wanted to drive by himself, um, but I think he's going to come back quite soon. It might look a bit different, but the same. Yeah. I miss him too, Ducky. We're somewhere in Prague now. Don't know all the streets look the same. <laughs> It's, oh, it's not, it's not a big area, you walk everywhere, it is big. All the streets look the same, and it's big. And we're about to have some Mexican food. And someone's... going to be very angry. Who? Mexican oh, they will be. And someone's not only got a leg injury, but they've got a second leg injury. So to match my, my huge bruise, which I'm not going to show you because this is public viewing, but it's big. Quite a moody photograph of the boys there. Shut up, please. If I could get out of this bag, then it would be different. Ah, don't you, hello, you're joining us quite late in conversation. <laughs> uh, I want to know who is Ducky. <laughs> I know you as you. Strangers. With a moving toothache. No, it's not a ducky. <laughs> Shut up, ducky. It's gonna fall off. The cream's gonna fall off. There. What are you looking at? You know what I'm looking at. I'm looking at that. And I'm not happy. Buddy. You're not happy? I've got your ice cream. You did not get me out. <coughs> it's yours, Lucky. Uh, don't put it in my museum. Where is your museum? The Hollywood. You think it'll still be solid by the time we get to Hollywood? Yeah. Okay. Go and put it in my music. Okay, if you look across the road for about five minutes, by the time you look back, it will be in your museum. I don't believe you. I think I know what's going on here. Wait, that means <laughs> what? Don't play me for food. I know what you're going to do. What are we going to do? You did it last night. What? No, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> but lucky it's the stranger again. I don't care. <laughs> I have to scare my dad. If I bring it over to you. What? What? If I bring it over to you like that. Look how close you are to ice cream now, Lucky. And there's another ice cream around here. There's two types of ice cream. Oh, that's going to look beautiful in that field. I hope so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I hope it makes you lucky. Yeah. Uh, not lucky, happy. What happy lucky. lucky. I'm lucky. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> he was just singing. As soon as he turned the camera on, he stopped. Sound like this. We 
found a British karaoke bar just around the corner from our digs. It's made someone quite happy. Look at his jolly little face. I really hope this next song isn't Tony doing Hello by Lionel Richie. That would be really bad in a full bar in Prague. Oh shit, look at this. Plus one. And that's the door open. You'll never know who it was. And um, it's a few minutes walk from where we're staying and I'm dragging Shitface along to uh, visit the uh, the memorial to the people who assassinated Hadrick. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. No. No, but Before I want to see. Wall. What? Before he made his what? Hadrick's wall. Oh, Hadrick. Is it Hadrian? No! Weird wall. But there's there's a street in Prague. So this is the church where Hadrick's assassins hid out. And there's a firestorm of the Nazis and they killed him. Now a memorial.
Ну Looking out over Prague. It's very Prague. It's a Fred and Ginger building apparently. I need to come back here I think. Brilliant. It's it's a goer. So just before our last show, uh, they are in with the headache tablets. They are in my bag just here. Someone doesn't like the Czech weather. Disagrees with this constitution. Says Jasmine again. Hi. Hi. Yeah. There we are. That's the space. Last show coming up. Who knows who's coming to see it? How well is it going? It's not a best show, I don't think. <laughs> no one's laughing at all. <laughs> we have an excellent show. Why, certainly, ma'am. Just one moment. No, I can't see anything. It's almost full. <laughs> of all the dumb things. <laughs> yes. Shut up, please. Um, look out of window. Oh. I'm not going to fall, I'm clever dog. Okay. I'll look this way, I'll look that way. No sign of Asta Crimes, no way. No, 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 no. Oh, my better times and Asta Crimes. Give to me. Well, we're walking streets of Prague, near to where we stay. Trying to find food at gone 11 o'clock on Sunday night. Because somebody went to sleep. And then so did somebody else. Trams at night time. Trams at night time. Uh, we, we still walk across the street. to walk across to it. We have found creepier shop in Prague. That's where they hang people. That's where they hang dead puppets. It's the girl from the um, the video last night with the drum. Yeah. That is a creepy place. It's fine, absolutely fine. We've just been for a meal. might have been some alcohol involved and we're now going over Charles Bridge where we're not allowed to do anything and there's a thing going on 
and we've been asked to go to the thing by the organizer of Prague Fringe, Steve Gove, who came to our show this afternoon and said we were, said we were brilliant and that we made him cry. And I want to show you a view over Prague. Well, it's one of many views over Prague, but it's, it's like it's a movie set. We're going through an, a big arch thing at the moment. Look at that. Stuff on the roof. And there. Uh, hope it's all nice and steady. And there's, there we are. There's, there's stuff in Prague. Um, there's some statues and shit. We're returning back. This is the outside of our accommodation. Looks great, didn't it? It's fine inside. Thank God I'm not. It's quite late now. It's gone two o'clock. <coughs> Hello. Today is the day that Philippe Antoni is leave of Prague. And Ducky and me, we is sit quite quietly in back at the moment. <laughs> we can see you. Someone just had their day made and then ruined again. Walked straight up to Taj Mahal in the Lego store in Prague. And he thought it was about 300 quid, but it's about 3,000. 3,500 pound. A bit out of my league. Still looking dream. This is the clock. Don't tell me that was it. <laughs> Look, that's one of the chief attractions of Prague. How much shit! Lucky. What? Got something for you. I uh, don't care. I'm not the way your times and ask. I'm uh, not interested. What's that? Well, flood your times. Well, a bit of no ice cream with it too. Look, what you've got, Lucky. That is donut with ice cream in it. I don't want that. I want proper ice cream. You're kidding me. This is made international news. A donut with ice cream in it. I just got it from the actual place that they keep mentioning in all the papers. Well, okay, it will do. But uh, next time, just get me ice cream. I don't want donut. I want it in nice corn, please. So well done, you. But uh, next time, do better. You're a very ungrateful dog. Shut off, face. That's very annoying. Why? Okay, it's the annoying torture. It's annoying torture. Oh. Tony's just found Neil's costume from Christmas Carol being used. There's a skelly gog there. He's not happy. The dead body in putrefaction remained dead in situ up to the separation of the bones. We have no expense spared on this one. It might be inflatable. What's that? What? 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 
Stop it. I don't think I ever need to go and see that again. Okay. I despair of human beings, they're horrible people. Stop it. <laughs> what, is that just an instruction of the human race? Yeah. <laughs> Got to go in there in a minute. Lemon ice cream. We've still got hours to go before we have to get the taxi. There's a Charles Bridge again. Before we have to get the taxi back to the airport and uh, kind of killing time now. Just because these pavements in Prague, achy feet. And so consequently, achy feet means lack of walkie. Unless in Museum with only ones here. It's done with a lot of love and not a lot of money. Yeah. The street of ghosts. It's gonna take us till seven o'clock to finish this piece. <laughs> the horror. The terror. very mustard down here which is quite funny and quite cold so I like that. That's the golem. He's uh, not working at the moment. Sleepy golem. Oh. That's just someone. <laughs> He's not happy. Hello. Oh, he's dead. Oh, now I see. That's what? why they said, read, make sure you read them upstairs. Yeah. It tells you what they're about down here.
Hello. Oh, slight problem. I need to give this one a hand. Which one? It's a, it's a monk. He's... Oh, steps there. There's just a hand stuck on the door there. It's a headless one with a necklace business going on. It's a flying baby! <laughs> oh, I love it! Leaving Duradlo Camper now. Going back to Hostel Emma, which we weren't even staying at. Just kill some time till our taxi picks us up at half past eight, eight. which is eight or half past. I think it's half past eight. We're still a few hours away yet, anyway. But anyway, that's that's the venue. That's the gate leading out of it, and that's the direction we're walking in. Go in bag. Do not, do, Tony. Do not put me in bag, please. No. Oh, get off of me. What is do? What? Get off my face. No, Tony, do, do put you put me in back. I got to put your face. Don't you put get off of me. Uh, I hate you, stupid. Oh, I'm talking. What? Ducky, Ducky just done fart at me. What's that? Oh, what? I thought you found Speedy. You pulled, you went, oh, and you pulled an orange thing out of the bag out the side of the speedy. I thought it was speedy. <laughs> you did pack it. Wouldn't that have been amazing? Maybe you can drink that as well. So this is, this is Hostel Emma. It's where, um, after we left, we were allowed to put our bags for the day. Where we didn't stay. Yeah. And curiously, the um, the Hadrick Memorial Church is just the end of the street, just just there. Are you going to drink that? taxi driver who basically looked like a tramp with no teeth did not speak hardly any English at all uh, he spoke German and Czech and we got a few with a few words of German we knew and everything was done with Google Translate he was a nice bloke he charged us more than the cab was over there but that's all right he stopped off to get some petrol and bought us chocolate bars which is quite nice oh I'm not a pie I'm a food on your book I'll get off my tonic Tony, I'm upside down. Tony, get, get off me. Oh, get off me, you stupid Tony. Stealing electricity from another country. 
you're the kind of person that gives Brits abroad a bad name. You're either drunken. <laughs> it is ten to ten, and we're sitting at the departure gate, waiting for a plane to take us away from Prague. Have a look outside. There's not much to see out there, really. It's just. Come on. I can't see out there because it's mostly the reflection in here. It's dark outside now, and we're not in Prague really. 18 kilometres away. He's on his phone. I'm Knox, I'm on this. And uh, Lucky and Ducky are in the bag. Just smug him out. I would let you out if I could, Lucky, but someone's not going to let you leave the bag. I want to let you out of the bag. You, you can come out of the bag, we're on the plane. We'll come out now then. Why not? Well, maybe Tony is quite in the bag and let you out. He probably wouldn't let me let you come out of the bag either. I don't know. No, I think I know. You can get out of the bag or on the plane. Oh, God, look at Oh, I'll let you have the bag more on the plane, whether Tony likes it or not. What? It's a big plane. Get off my ears. Get off my ears. Lucky. Get off my ears. Get off my ears, Lucky. Are you sitting on his own ears? That's nice. Get off my ears, Lucky. Okay. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Might have a little bit of video afterwards. I'm playing. Have you done live? I've done what? Live. No, this is actually for the phone. I know it's for the phone. I said. Yeah. Have you? Done have I done a live one? Live. With who? With Lucky and Ducky? <laughs> yeah. I did. I did a live video, but the quality was so bad I had to stop it. In all senses. Yeah, you really should stop it. <laughs> Hello, please. I'm at the Pacho I have nowhere to sit. The stupid poor people everywhere. Who would think with me being lucky I'll be allowed to sit anywhere I want, but no. I hate them. Go away. And give me a radio times and ask her. Just look at it. Look at it. See your humanity. Hello, please. Hello everyone. Um, listen, hello. I'm Lucky Dog. Yeah, no, listen to me now. Um, I really need to write out Thompson ice cream. Hello. Don't, don't walk away, stupid poor lady. Hello. These are very stupid people. Don't like them. I don't like on this bus. Get me off bus. No. Thank you, please. Getting on plane. Getting on plane. Go away. Getting on plane. Yeah. We're on plane now. Look. On plane. Go away. Along the cabin aisle, Tony. Will illuminate in darkness and guide you to the nearest exit in an emergency. There are four main doors: two at the front of the cabin, one left and one right, and two at the rear of the cabin, one left and one right. There are four overwing exits in the center of the cabin, two left and two right. Please note the nearest exit to you, which may be the 
One with the What? We got to leave a track now. So it is end of film. Go away. This had people next to me. No prank now. Prank leaving prank now. Uh, just had people next to us have big argument with a uh, man who is flight attendant. And uh, he, he really didn't help them either. He was quite rude back to them. That was quite funny. And this is really, really nice. Remove the jacket from its pocket and place it yeah. over your head. Um, Bring the strap um, around your waist. Also, uh, we see man hit other man earlier today, wasn't it? Thing nice about Clark is it's quite violent. I like that. Yeah. There is a nice piece for further inflation or deflation and a light to attract attention.